Hello, I'm Russell Bauer, and welcome to Seneca Students of the Month. Our March nominees are senior, Adam Felcher, junior, Tyler McCormick, sophomore, Liam Gilfoyle, and freshman, Samantha Durkis. Our senior nominee, Adam Felcher, has been a member of the Iron Devils robotics team for four years where he spends countless hours with his peers building and competing with a robot each year. Adam also is the executive producer of Seneca's own Golden Eagle Morning Show where he works with fellow students to create a live broadcast every day. Through all his various activities, Adam has shown his true potential as a scholar and a leader. Adam, congratulations on Student of the Month. Thank you, Russ. So Adam, tell us about yourself. Um, I don't know, well, I, mean, I guess I do um, a few different activities here at Seneca. Um, I do the morning show, robotics club, um, world affairs club in the mornings, NHS, so a few different things like that, some stuff outside of school. So, so what, is, what is your role in the morning TV show? Um, well, I guess my technical title is executive producer, but um, I sort of like to think of, like we're a very sort of like mixed kind of group, and it's good, like we can sort of all do different jobs each morning and very much mix around and get to each experience something different every day. So what do you do outside of Seneca? Um, outside of Seneca, I guess I do a few different hobbies and things. Um, so when I play guitar, which I've done that for about eight years now, so that's something sort of fun. Um, and then I also built a car with my dad, which is cool, a 72 Beetle. So that's a fun project to sort of work on and, and stuff like that. So for those of you who don't know, Adam is the one who produces, edits, helps record students of the month. So being on the other side of the cameras is very different for you. So what is this experience like for you? Um, well, it's definitely different being a student of the month versus producing the videos. Um, but it's, it's sort of producing the videos has sort of gone through and I guess taught me a lot of different things about um, editing the like large quantities of videos and things like that. Because I've worked on smaller projects before for the morning show, but um, this is one thing where it's sort of going through and doing you know the same video oh, like about 15 times or not 15 times I guess, but with all each different person we're interviewing you know many many times. So you're going through and it's a larger scale project which is sort of harder to manage and things like that. So a lot of different stuff and you're making different graphics, stuff like that. So it's sort of um, something that was sort of interesting to go through and do all of those kinds of things. So different graphics take different amount of times to work. So you made this graphic that we see on mm -hmm. the TV, you made uh, the wheel graphic that goes in the beginning. How do you get inspiration to make these types of graphics? Um, a lot of it, I guess, I sort of went through and um, played with After Effects a lot, which is um, so that we actually just got the software this year. So I got to go through and use that a lot for the first time and sort of teach myself how to use all of that. And, um, and doing that, just kind of going through and, you know, we have the Seneca logo, just some gray colors and kind of throwing it all together and seeing where it all ends up. Um, and a lot of them, they take a while to do things, which is sort of the downside to it. Like our graphic in the beginning takes about three or four hours just to export the one thing. So if you make a mistake in it, you just lost four hours of work that you have to go through and now re-export the whole thing again. So you lose some time on that stuff. But um, other than stuff like that, I mean, it's really just kind of go and play with it and see what happens. So as a senior, you are in your ending terms here at Seneca High School. There are officially under three months left until you graduate. So what are your future plans? Um, well, I'm thinking I'm going to Drexel University, um, and I'd like to go and get a computer science degree and um, go through and work with some sort of robotics technology or something along those lines and uh, computer programming. Adam Felcher, once again, congratulations on Student of the Month. Thank you. Our junior nominee, Tyler McCormick, has had to miss some of school because of a medical issue. Despite his unfortunate situation, he puts in extra effort to keep up his schoolwork and ensure everything is turned in on time. Tyler plays lacrosse and has been on the swim team for the last two years. He has shown more heart and team spirit than most people would. Just with his presence, Tyler has been a true inspiration to his teammates and his coaches. Tyler, congratulations on Student of the Month. Thank you. So tell us about yourself, Tyler. Uh, pretty active in school and sports, in student council. Uh, lacrosse is probably my most favorite thing to do here at school. Uh, I like to ski. Uh, I like the snow. I like going to the beach, too. So you said you're a member in student council involved. What exactly is your position? What do you do? And what do you like most about it? I'm just a representative. Uh, hopefully next year I'll be on the executive board and I can be a little more active. But as far as right now, I'm just representing the school, trying to make it more exciting, more fun for all the students, taking their voice into consideration, uh, making their high school experience the best it can be. What's one thing that student council has taught you about yourself? 
Uh, that I'm pretty outgoing and that uh, I shouldn't be afraid to talk to people because they listen when I speak. So hopefully I can convince them to be part of something or help them do something that they will enjoy later. What sports do you do here at Seneca? I do lacrosse, football, and swimming. So out of all those sports, which one would you say has taught you the most valuable lesson? What would that be? Probably swimming because that's the toughest sport I think I've ever done. Uh, I knew it would be hard, but it, it was a lot harder than I thought it would ever be. But it definitely pushed me to my limits mentally and physically. So it definitely has taught me a lot about myself and helped me as a person more than just as an athlete. So out of all the students here at Seneca, you are one of the four students of the month for the month of March. So what makes you, Tyler McCormick, Tyler McCormick? I like to stay motivated through everything. Uh, I definitely work hard in the classroom. and I like to help everyone out. Uh, I like to think of myself as a leader, trying to, especially on group projects, trying to get everyone together to accomplish the common goal. And then, especially just getting work done, I'm always on top of things and making sure everything gets done to the best of my ability. All right, once again, Tyler McCormick, congratulations on Student of the Month. Got it. Thank you. Our sophomore nominee, Liam Guilfoyle, quickly embraced the change to develop great habits in class. He always participates, has learned from his mistakes, and now helps others understand the material. He has truly become a leader in class. He is very articulate, knowledgeable, and often helps other students when they struggle in the class. Liam, congratulations on Student of the Month. Thank you. Liam, tell us about yourself. Well, uh, I'm Liam Kilfoyle. Uh, I'm in Tabernacle. Uh, I don't know. I do good in school. I play sports occasionally. So what do you do here at Seneca? Well, I uh, do soccer um, in the uh, fall and track in the spring. So spring track season just starting and around the corner. What events do you do in track? Uh, shot put and discus. That's great. What have you done in soccer? What's your position there? Well, this year I, did, I was manager, and last year I played offense. So what's your favorite class here at Seneca and why? I would say it's Spanish right now because I have Mr. Kirby and Mr. Kirby's really cool. But, and yeah. What makes Liam Guilfoyle Liam Guilfoyle? I don't like treating people like partially. I try to like be nice to everyone, understand how like that people come from different, like different stories and everything, that people have different stories. And yeah, just gotta be like thinking about that. So how does that philosophy affect your daily life and choices that you make? Um, I just, if someone does something that is like not normal or anything, I just don't like judge them on it as other people would. And it's, diff it, look at life differently. That way. What advice would you give to a new student here at Seneca High School? I would say to be social be nice to everyone and understand that people have different stories and they aren't like you. Liam Guilfoyle, once again, congratulations on Student of the Month. Thank you. Our freshman nominee, Samantha Durkis, participates in DECA, field hockey, and both winter and spring track. Outside of school, she is involved in her church youth group and volunteers for many different activities. Samantha is always the first to answer questions and bring up discussions and add to the classroom learning environment. She is positive, friendly, and is always ready to learn. Samantha, congratulations on Student of the Month. Oh, thank you. So tell us about yourself. Um, I'm ninth grader at Seneca High School, involved in a lot of sports and activities. That. What do you do here inside of Seneca High School? Um, I did field hockey in the fall. I started varsity. That was pretty exciting. Um, I also did winter track and we got to do a lot of cool things with that. We got to go to like nationals and participate in a lot of fun meets. Um, we also were starting spring track now which is pretty fun. Uh, DECA, that's really exciting. We're going to nationals for that too with my partner uh, Kaylin Bryan and Interact um, Art Class. So it sounds like that you've had a very successful uh, freshman year here yeah. at Seneca. So tell us, what have you learned uh, through DECA? What was the competition field that you did? And um, I did two events. I did um, a principal's event, which is just for like first year students. And then Kaylin and I had to prepare a presentation based on her business. 
And it's just important to be like very outspoken and to just meet new people as much as you can because like we met all these people at regionals from like um, Shawnee and Cherokee and Lenape and all this stuff and then we went on to states and we got to meet them again so like people that you meet are going to come back around so it's very important to just meet new people and talk to them and stuff like that. So you said that you played varsity field hockey uh, as a freshman. What was your position? Um, I was a forward. Um, it's a good position for me because I like to run a lot and it's all about like speed and I got to work closely with um, a couple other seniors like uh, Colleen Kazokas and Kate Swope and stuff like that and it was just really fun working with them and we had to work hard because obviously it's varsity but it was a really good experience. So what do you do outside of Seneca High School? Um, I'm involved in uh, my church's youth group and stuff. We do a lot of things like that. We, we actually were going on a retreat next weekend and um, we have a younger kids program which is like um, pre-K through fourth grade. So we help out with that a lot, and I'm very active in my family and things. So. so out of all the freshmen here at Seneca High School, you were chosen as March's Student of the Month. So what makes you Samantha Durkis, Samantha Durkis? Um, I guess I'm not afraid to be myself or meet new people all the time and try new things and just work my hardest. That's like a huge thing for anyone, whether it's in school or sports at home for projects just if you work your hardest people will notice after a while and that's a pretty big thing All right, once again samantha Durkis, congratulations on student of the month thank you once again congratulations to all of our student nominees their dedication both inside and outside the classroom has made seneca and the community a better place for all of us for seneca high school i'm russell bauer signing off <laughs>